Hello, in this video, you'll see the first clinical evidence supporting the beneficial effect of five specific HMOs on gut development in full-term healthy infants. Let us first briefly summarize what we know about human milk oligosaccharides or HMOs. HMOs represent the third largest solid component of human milk. Of these, the major 20 to 30 HMOs are identified and quantified. Based on their building blocks, HMOs can be classified into three main categories. Non-fucosylated or core HMOs, with LNT as their most abundant HMO. Fucosylated HMOs, with 2FL and DFL as two of the leading representatives. And ciliated HMOs, of which 6SL and 3SL are important examples. Moreover, the unique structure of each HMO contributes to its specific function, which results in the diverse roles of HMOs in supporting early gut development. Multiple preclinical and experimental studies indicate that certain HMOs strengthen gut barrier function, support intestinal immunity, the growth of beneficial gut bacteria, and inhibit pathogen growth and adhesion. And what is the clinical evidence? With the advancement of technology and research activities, more HMOs are available for infant nutrition. To verify the beneficial effects of certain HMOs on gut development, a clinical study was set up to investigate the effect of five HMOs representing the three main HMO categories on various parameters of infant gut development, infant growth, and tolerance. The study was designed as a multi-center, randomized, controlled, double-blind trial. 693 formula-fed infants were randomly assigned to three study groups. A control group, where the infants received infant and follow-up formula with no HMOs added. A supplementation group 1 or a supplementation group 2, where the infants received infant formulae with five HMOs at different supplementation levels. However, the five HMO level of the follow-up formula was the same in both supplementation groups. Breastfed infants were included as a separate reference group. From the age of 21 days to the age of four months, all infants were exclusively fed their infant formulae. Infant formulae feeding continued up to the age of six months. After the age of six months, a follow-up formula was given. Infants in the reference group were exclusively breastfed until four months of age, at least. So, what are the key results? Supplementation with five HMOs supports a healthy gut barrier function. The levels of alpha-1 antitrypsin, or ATT, a marker of gut barrier function, was lower in both HMO groups in comparison with control at three months of age. Fecal ATT in breastfed infants is influenced by its breast milk content and therefore cannot be used for direct comparison. In addition, 5-HMO supplementation promotes intestinal immune development, shown by increased levels of secretory immunoglobulin A in both HMO groups compared with control at 3 months of age. At 6 months of age, when complementary food was also given, SIGA levels were still higher in HMO group 2 compared with control. The following three parameters show the beneficial effects of 5-HMO supplementation on shaping gut microbiome closer to that of breastfed infants. At first, the overall gut microbiome composition, analyzed as beta diversity, is different in infants of both HMO groups compared with the control group at three and six months of age and transitioning towards the breastfed group. Secondly, 5-HMO supplementation increased total gut bifidobacteria, which is mainly related to an increase of the HMO metabolizing bifidobacteria, bifidobacterium longum subspecies infantis, as shown here. The relative abundance of this specific bifidobacterium is higher in both HMO groups compared with control at three and six months of age, and either similar or approaching that of breastfed infants. Furthermore, 5-HMO supplementation inhibits the growth of pathogens, such as the pathogenic Clostridioides difficile. In both HMO groups, the relative abundance of this pathogen is lower in comparison with control at three and six months of age, and comparable with that of the breastfed infants at six months of age. 5-HMO supplementation supports a more desired gut environment for growth of beneficial bacteria. In both HMO groups, fecal pH is lower in comparison with control at both time points. During exclusive formula or breastfeeding at three months of age, fecal pH is similar to that of breastfed infants. 
5-HMO supplementation of infant and follow-up formula promotes age-appropriate growth. Infant body weight, length, head circumference and body mass index in both HMO groups track closely with the WHO growth standards. Also, 5-HMO supplementation is well tolerated through the first year of life. In conclusion, 5-HMO supplementation of formulae promotes early gut development in infants by supporting a healthy gut barrier function, intestinal immune system, gut microbiome closer to that of breastfed infants, and a more desired gut environment. Equally important, 5-HMO supplementation promotes adequate growth and is well tolerated through the first year of life.